All right, Shalom. First of all, we're going to give all praise and all glory to you. Yahweh, by Shem, Yahshai, by Shem, and Kakwadash. Of course, double honors as always to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Well, peace and salutation to the light where you've been scattered to with the brothers from the Great Millstone. Play tables, can't look you here in the city of Philadelphia. So, I come in now just to prophesy through the Spirit. All right, obviously, us being at the end of this captivity, the end of Babylon, the end of the rule of Esau, Edom, and I mean, the craziest thing, like I said, we just had a, a, a camp uh, out there with the brothers in the Great Millstone PA camp uh, with uh, Habashai Zayan and Malak. And uh, uh, yeah, they got the other brother, uh, Kazad, out there um, on the other side at this time. And, um, you know, we, you know, we, we, we preach in the word and stuff. And it's like people, you know, driving by, looking at us as a spectacle. And um, you still have these other doctrines of, uh, of men. And what people are following and stuff and it's just absolutely crazy with all this truth that's out here as being published and, and propagated in the earth and stuff people our people still are confused okay because we had a uh, i believe it, yeah, it was an iska right and he seems as if he do watch the videos of, he know about the our different beliefs and stuff like that but he was, he's more inclined to hear okay, stuff okay. of what we uh, got to say about certain things and stuff. Like, yeah, you can see that the dude, he had a resistance, um, he had a zeal, but uh, it was not according to knowledge and stuff. And then it was just like, you know, some of the different things he said was like, you know, we're telling him like, yeah, the Lord, you know, he's this color. He's a so-called black man uh, out of the tribe of Judah. Okay. Um, and he's just like, what, what does that matter? Yeah, you know? Right. And um, what's that? Get this scripture where it say um, it says um, uh, the things that are written four times before for our learning. Okay. Real quick, we'll just start there, and then also I think for Hosea four, four chapter. Okay. And we'll go from there. This is uh, Romans chapter fifteen verse four. It says, "For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning." Right. So the things that are written aforetime was the Bible. Okay, the Bible was uh, written. Okay. Uh, Get the scripture about saying holy man will move by the spirit. Uh, I think it's in okay, Timothy. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, the, the Bible was written, um, you know, for of course our learning, for us to, to know, uh, of course, uh, so that we have, of course, the vision, all right, that we know exactly who you uh, actually are, okay, uh, and what to do. It's, you know, of course, as a you know, I believe the uh, Christians be saying um, in the world, it's a basic instruction before leaving, leaving earth. No, it's the instruction period. <laughs> On earth, out of earth, whatever. Because we got what we don't go by is all, only by the, what the Lord says and what he has written. Okay? Uh, go. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep, yep, yeah. This uh, Psalms 119 verse 9 says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed thereto according to the to thy word. Yeah, like the brother was saying, this is the this is the way of life. This is the Lord has given us the blueprint of how we should live our lives on the earth. And you know, it's very important that we don't deviate from it to the from the to the left side or the right side. You know, we have to stick to exactly the way the Lord has set up for us to live our lives the proper way we can't say well i'll just tweak this a little bit or i'll just <laughs> tweak that a, a little bit or see certain things you know certain commandments that the lord has given us as insignificant you know as it's not that big of a deal okay yeah, and it's like crazy because like people think that the lord has changed or something like now nah, the lord his word is the same you know uh, he hasn't changed yeah, the scripture says yahweh shy the same today today yes. and yesterday yeah that's it you know so um, I am the Lord, I change not, you know, uh, so, you know, for somebody to be saying anything that's contrary to what the scriptures are saying, like I said, they have been deceived by their own vain opinion. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord is perfect. If you're perfect, what, what would be the need to change? What can you change? Right. Because if you change, you're only changing to become better. Right. But if you're perfect, it's nothing to change. Right, exactly. You know, you know, then that's just, that's a straight cut, you know, because like I said, with these uh, different... You know, Christians, which our people have been deceived by Esau, Edom, conquered, and now they've done, t you know, we've all, of course, uh, went after these dumb idols and these different doctrines and such. Our people are really eating that and swallowed up by it and stuff, where it's like it has a major stronghold on them, where they, you know, we've given them the actual scriptures, and they actually still reject the words. Because really, like I said, they're a rebellious house. That's Israel for you, you know? God. 
I got another one. Oh, you uh, bring out whatever you got. Yeah, come. This is a uh, Second Peter chapter one, verse twenty. It says, knowing this first that there that no prophecy of the scriptures is of any private interpretation. Right, which that's heavy because, you know, dudes like you know a lot of these people they come up to the camps and stuff. They're like, well, that's your interpretation of the scripture. No, it's not of any private interpretation and stuff you know uh we we didn't draft this up on our own you know we got the breakdowns from the lord the lord gave us the word and stuff and gave us the understanding and something with us and we just give you exactly what is written and what of course the mystery um and give you the sense of of things and stuff you kind, know kind of like the brother yakalba in the camp always says there's no there's no my truth and your truth. There's only one truth. Two plus two is four. <laughs> yes. That's it. You know, yeah. there's no other way around. Right. You, you can't make it something else. Yeah. You know what I mean, if it ain't adding up, it ain't, it ain't right. Okay. All right. So, okay, go ahead. Okay. It says, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Right. So it wasn't of the will of man. You know, what man pleases, but. It says, but holy men of the most high. Holy men. Separate men. These ain't just ordinary men. Yeah, we are ordinary men. Like, yeah, we. Uh, of course, uh, we got, like you said, we got body, flesh, a spirit within us, but we have an actual divine purpose, all right, that the Most High gave unto these men, all right? They, they of course, been set aside for the purpose of Yahweh's will. Go ahead. Okay. It says, but holy men of the Most High speak as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. As they were moved, all right? And, of course, like I said, the scriptures tell you in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter, I believe, um, that... So you can get it. Uh, uh, wisdom, I think it's Wisdom of Solomon 7. Favorite chapter. I think it's uh, 7 in like 24. Okay. 24. Okay. 7. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7, verse 24. It says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Right, so that's what they were moved by wisdom all right which that's that breath that's uh that enters onto us you know uh when of course you know, the lord draws us nigh and stuff you know um you know you got these dudes that are thinking in the free will and all this other stuff you can't like we didn't get to bring that scripture out but you know you can't just come to the lord and say like yeah i'm choosing you no it's the lord that actually he chooses and handpicked you out all right predestination go ahead it says, for wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. Right. And wisdom is a pure spirit. Okay. Go ahead. It says, for she is the breath of the power of the Most High. Right. It's that breath of the Most High. All right. Like, literally just imagine the Lord being very close to you, being intimate. Like, if you have a secret, you say, hey, come here. Come near to me. That's how the prophets are to to uh, Yahweh Shemel Shai. He's there. Like we're, we're of course like he deals with us as friends and such, yeah. you know, companions and such, special friends, not just any old friend. Okay, you got it? go ahead. Okay. It says for she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence, flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Right, that pure influence. Okay, so it's not defiled or anything like that. And as you know, the scriptures tell you in uh, what's that malicious soul? Get that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's one. Um. It's one. Yeah. It's right. I mean, yeah. Uh. We'll get this other scripture real quick. Now, this is a wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 4. It says, For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Right, a malicious soul. So, say, you got these uh, <laughs> these malicious souls out there. Y'all not going to get this wisdom. So, and like it's 111 right now, uh, which that's uh, going to knowledge, I believe, 111. Like I said, this wisdom, this knowledge, and understanding is not going to enter. Go ahead, Sonny. It says, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Right. I just wanted to find malicious. Yeah, yeah, ma yeah. God, Go yeah, they're not <laughs> sincere, you know, in their, you know, a lot of guys that are say they're seeking wisdom, seeking the Lord, they're not sincere. They want the Lord to fit their narrative, you know, yeah. what they what they think is right and what they think is wrong. Right. No, nah, the Lord's. You know the Lord's ways are not your ways; His thoughts are not your thoughts. It's not you're not in, you're not in charge. The Lord is in charge. Whatever the Lord says is right is right. And yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like you can't just say, "All right, well, nah, that's not right." Yeah. You know, the Lord, the one who sanctions. Yeah, and when we break down the, the scriptures, they say that's not right. Well, right. that's what the Lord does. When yeah. you say the Lord does evil, that's that's not right. Yeah, <laughs> he, oh, he, he 
Oh, he made me wicked. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he made me he do bad me? and then yeah. judge, judge me for the bad I did. That's the Lord. We, we brought out the precepts, right? Man. Romans, the ninth chapter, who are thou that replies against the Most High? Right. Yeah, you know, you're just a, a, a vessel that the Lord created, lump of clay, you know, of earth and stuff with a spirit inside which the Lord gave unto you. He going to set what you going to do. You of his spirit anyway. Yeah, you, can. you know, his spirit is going to do all things. Nothing can go, uh, I believe in the scriptures, you said nothing can go against his will, what the Lord actually uh, set up for, uh, you know, every everything to do. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like you, it's like if you made a little action figure doll, you know, with a mind and it can speak and yeah. it's like, it's talking shit to you like, oh, why, why'd you make me yeah. like this? You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, what the hell? Yeah. This, a, this yeah. little ass thing, you're going to be like, this little... Uh, creature talking, you know, talking trash to me. I made you. Yeah. You're going to be like, man, this thing ain't good for nothing. Right. You're going to be snap that way. thing in half. Yeah, it have fun and pleasure out of it, you <laughs> know? You know, the Lord, like I said, this is all his, uh, for his his will and stuff. His, you know, this is his movie, man. You know, you just a, a, a player in the game right now, you know? You know, this is, Lord can do whatever he want, man. Um, yeah, Khan, uh, you can keep going. Khan. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 4. It says, For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Right. You know? And like I say, that's why this the spirit of uh, the Sophia, uh, you know, it, it flees the seat. You know, it ain't going to go, you know, and, and someone who's uh, a deceptive, uh, you know, a snake and stuff like that. Yeah, we were at a time, obviously, uh, you know, in the world and wicked. But like I said, our actual spirit that's within us, the Lord created us to be actually righteous. And he's actually going to justify us and stuff. You know, through the blood of Yahweh shot. All right? You know, because like I said, the, the actual spirits of the elect, we don't want to do wrong. You know, we feel obviously a uh, remorse when we do uh, sin. And so we're very deeply sorrowful. We be like, you know, brothers try, try not to dwell on it, but you know, we, we see that we're filthy and stuff, and we see that obviously we need a savior. Kind of scripture says that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's the difference between us and them, right? We're, we're willing, we want to do what's right, but our flesh, you know, gives into the different temptations and stuff like them. They don't even want to do what's right. Right. So and yeah, the way it's made plain before them and stuff. You know, we make the prophecies plain upon tables and, you know, people just don't want to just yeah because they'll look look at brothers they'd be like oh well you don't keep all the laws or you don't do everything <laughs> the right way but yeah but there's a separation yeah that's it you know it's a it's a clear separation and such and like i say the lord literally said it he made us separate you know he he, he set us apart you know he took us out of this world okay we're not of the world even you have a shot himself he said uh, i am from above you are from below you know he's speaking to them uh wicked uh I think, but he describes the Pharisees in there, you know. So, you know, the spirit when we have the mind of Mashiach. So it's like when people do buck up and stuff. Like he's like, yeah, this is a guy just must not be in the fold and stuff. Yeah. You know, if he ain't gonna repent, you know, that's it. You know what I mean? Um, God, uh, what's it? You got anything back on that? Wisdom of Solomon. That's it. Um, the one, the one I was originally reading. Yeah. I think it was a little more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is um. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 verse 25 It says for she is the breath of the power of the most high And a pure influence flowing from the glory of the almighty Right so it's all coming from the almighty the most high Okay So the wisdom that we do receive is from Yahweh And it's yeah. pure Yeah and it says that pure influence It's like when brothers go out there on the highways and hedges You know brothers you know speaking Just flowing in the spirit Breaking down the, uh, the precepts beautifully You know just saying just pure words You know and it's the, the wisdom and the, the ability to do that is coming from the Heavenly Father through, yeah. his, through his Spirit. Kai, it like uh, this this uh, one precept he coming out a lot. Uh, let me see if I can get it real quick. Uh, that speak it. All right, this is uh, Matthew chapter 10 and 20. Uh, it reads, um, For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Kind, yeah, and that's the spirit because I literally just did a video about that the, the other day. How the Lord, you know, He puts this, He puts the thoughts, you know, the words into our mouths. We're not, you know, you know, brothers, you might be doing a certain lesson and you'll have a certain amount of precepts, but you don't plan out the whole entire thing. And some brothers just flow in the spirit. When we go out there in high, highways and hedges, we're not planning everything out, yeah. we're just flowing in the spirit. And the Lord gives us the words, the words to speak, yeah, you know, yeah, like you know, even like brothers, even know, like. 
Look, man, the brother came over even just that. Nah, we didn't know what he was going to do. Like, we're like, that's what we're doing. More program us to do that. You Kinda. know what I mean? Um, you have it where, like I said, we'll go out of the highways and head this. You might even be meditating on a certain day in the spirit as the wind. You have it go up wherever yeah, it goes. You know, so it, it, that's all you have about Shemel Shai. You know, and like I said, it's all a program. Yeah, okay? yeah and the scripture says not to force the course yeah, of the river. So right. you might, you it might have been in your spirit okay. to speak about a different topic, but but that's not where this the way that the spirit is going. You know, brothers. You see, you know, with brother, the topic that brothers are speaking about, that's not the same, necessarily the same topic you wanted to speak about. So you just go go with the flow. You that's know, the it. scripture says, quench not the spirit. Yeah. You can't be of the mindset, well, I didn't want to talk about this topic. <laughs> We're going to talk about my topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, brothers, just go out there and just flow in the spirit of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that's right, man. You know? And I mean, that's, what, that's how I'm supposed to go, you know? You see everything is flowing out natural, you know? It's not static. Yeah, kind of. And like I said, that's the spirit of, like like I said, the devil. It's not creative and stuff. Like, the Lord is creative. Like, you know, he could be at, like, all right, we, I, you know, he, even though he already set it up and stuff, he put it, he'll just have us, all right, we talking about this and that. Honestly, like, it's just like the scriptures is written, and then it gets going, jump into something else and yeah, stuff. Okay. You know, and then you people are like, oh, you need to read at the top. Well, the spirit, the, how the spirit, the head of the Lord had, you know, he, uh, different prophets getting these visions and stuff. That's how it is. It just boom, boom, boom. Jumps around. Right there, jumping around and yeah. stuff. That's how the spirit is and stuff. You know, that's how creative the Abba Shemel Shai is. You know what I mean? He, 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 uh, he unpredictable, man. You know? Kind. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, it's like certain times, you know, brothers might speak on on a topic and just stick to that topic yeah but then other times brothers just be jumping from topic to topic yeah that's all through the spirit that's it yep that's it you know it's all dictated by the spirit power you by shit man shy you know so like i said it's good it's, it's real beautiful you know because like i said it, it shows you how much of a personality our power has you know it's not like you know like when you think of the christian church and stuff they pretty much a lot of the times they already got their sermons already pre right now yeah uh you know weeks in advance all right we're going to talk about this all right uh, a person might actually come up with a sincere question and they would dismiss it entirely yeah, yeah. i'll get to it when yeah this yeah, they're like this ain't the time for that we'll do yeah. that we'll do that next week yep we'll that next yeah week. and you know they're not like they're not they don't like like i say i believe the scriptures tell you a righteous man he studied the answer well like i said these people ain't, ain't righteous because they really don't have the answers, yeah. you know? They ain't, they ain't studying for them, you know what I mean? It's crazy, you know? That's why a lot of people leave uh, the Christian church because, you know, they see that they're not getting answered, you know, they see that uh, they're walking around lost, and, you, you know, you got all of this confusion that's going out there, and they're not getting, obviously, any direction, the proper direction. So, of course, they're gonna be led onto these own stupid devices and stuff. You ain't got no leader, you know? So you go, go fall into ditches and stuff, huh? you know? Um, oh, uh, so wait, we, go, well, we's, uh, we read uh, about the things that are written for time for our learning. Oh, and then we read back about the holy influence. Oh, the, uh, men were moved by the spirit. Huh? Okay, so real quick, um, like I said, you can't, you can't get this without having a teacher. You know what I mean? You know, so, uh, I'm going to get this real quick. Nehemiah chapter 8 and 8. It says, So they read in the book of the law of the power distinctly. All right. So I want to go into this word for distinctly and stuff. And this is what the, you know, the prophets of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai do. You know, we read, you know, it's a part of the book, the Thararah, the Most High, distinctly. So you got parash, which is to declare, to separate. Right. And, we, you know, and it also means distinct. So it's like, like I say, this when we read these these verses these scriptures we declare and distinguish um you know what actually is saying okay and separate it from all obviously any confusion that's out there because there's a lot of confusion some people have said you know a lot of people they walk around and they have just this this belief and uh way of life and then you could just go in the scriptures where well, the scriptures say this well through having the scriptures we can make a distinct and, and we could declare it all right and clarify it okay that's why it's important like his scriptures say what uh you get that in revelation blessed he that readeth okay. all right um you gonna get this other scripture real quick okay. this is uh revelation chapter 1 verse 3 it says blessed is he that readeth and that and they that hear the words of this prophecy right 
So blessed is he, happy is he that readeth. You know, bless, you know, because obviously when you bless, you know, it does bring you, of course, happiness, okay? Like you said, having the answers, you know, that, that of course, like you say, the scriptures say, the truth shall set you free, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Go ahead. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, mm -hmm. and keep those things which are written therein. Right, so not only that you got to read it, hear it, but you also got to keep it. Like the scriptures say, hold fast to that which thou hast. Okay. okay. So once you hear the words and stuff, you got to cleave on it, you know. You never, don't forget thy first love and stuff, you know. Go ahead. It says, for the time is at hand. For the time is at hand, Okay. And like I say, we see what time it is. It's not a time to be indifferent okay. about salvation, to not care about, all right, whether um, I'm going to, uh, like, if I'm okay in security right now. No, the Lord will visit you in your security. You know, that's why you should make no terror when it comes to serving the Lord. Kind, you know. So when we see these people, like I say, when they going after these doctrines, we're like, yo, look, the, ticking, the time is ticking right now. You like damn near the shot clock on the damn, it's at the point four seconds and stuff. And y'all playing games right now? It's not no time for that game. To be, uh, you know, walking in the ways of the heathen, all right, and to just taking and, and after the musing, the deep thoughts of your own mind. That's stupid. Like the dude kept saying, oh, uh, I think this and I think. I'm just like, dude, you thinking ain't getting you nowhere. You know, like I said, the heart is desperately looking. Who can know it? All right, it tell you in the scriptures of wisdom of Solomon that you know our mind uses that to, you know many different things and stuff. You know, so you can't trust in your own heart. I need to trust in the Lord. Okay, um, the scriptures tell you not to put your confidence in man and such. You know, um, I think that's in the book of Psalms. Okay, but yeah, um, Kai, you got so? Yeah, I think so. so. Kai. It's uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, <clears throat> verse 24. It says, For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, mm -hmm. and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Right. You know, and like I say, dude, we was at the camp. The guy just, man, the brother could testify, man. He, he just had it. All he got is opinion. Well, I think yeah, this. Huh? We gave him like 40 Damn, there it had to be hundreds of precepts that came out. Yeah, the brother, the brothers was bringing out, you know, <laughs> like I said, there's yeah, so many precepts, and a lot of the precepts we were bringing out were very plain. Yeah, you know, on the topic of free will, mm -hmm. just man's going, uh, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Mm -hmm. That's plain and simple. What's, right. what's not to get? Right. You know, it's crazy. But he was trusting his own vain opinion, like the brother was saying. The dude kept saying, "Well, I think this. Well, I think that." Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't, a, he wasn't, you know, actually. It felt like he wasn't actually considering what we were reading. Right. You know, considering what was being said. He was just so stuck in his ways and his belief system. Yeah. And that's, like I said, that's going to lead on him on to death. You know, because, like I said, if he don't repent, the <laughs> Lord will destroy him. He's going to hold you accountable for them silly doctrines, them silly beliefs and stuff. You know what I mean? Come on. Uh, quick reset. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Proverbs 14 and 12. Says, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Mm. Yeah, there's a way that seemeth right unto man. And like I said, this guy definitely think he right. Okay. You know, we told him a million times, it's crazy. Like, it was like literally like, like, like judgments is just going out. Okay. Like okay. slamming the bailiff or whatever that device is. Okay. Yeah, now if I can make a quick point, you okay. know, not to get too off topic, but you know, a lot of... People, they accuse GMS of being a hate group. But right. the scripture says that the Most High is not unrighteous to forget our, our labor of love. And yeah. what we did, what we was doing out there was a labor of love, right. you know. We was trying to turn this man to the Lord. And brothers was out there for for a good, you know, good second trying to get this man yeah. to understand these scriptures. This is the way of life. We yeah. was trying to lead, lead him into salvation, That's you right. know. That was a labor of love that brothers was doing. God. That's right, man. Um, got... Here it goes. No, no. Yeah, this is uh, real quick. Sirach chapter 19 and 13. You read that. It says, Admonish a friend. It may be that, he, I mean, it may be he has not done it. And if he have done it, that he do it no more. Kind, yeah. So admonish a friend. The brother always going to the, 
t fact that you know friend goes into brother you know you know him being an israelite he yeah. is our brother yeah in the faith he's not our brother right right and we, that's exactly what we was doing we was admonishing him we was telling him his ways were wrong his yeah. belief system was wrong i couldn't fully see the, the man's face but it don't, didn't look like he had a beard on his face <laughs> nah, at all nah, nah. you know he, he's in that spirit he's in he had a coronavirus mask on the whole yep. time we were talking so what he's in the spirit of the world yeah he's in the spirit of being afraid of what what Esau tell, tells him you know mm -hmm. we were admonishing him for his ways for his beliefs you know yeah. you yeah. know the scripture says one thing but he's saying another thing that's that's a wicked thing to do yeah and it's crazy like this like i just keep saying the scriptures is so plain yeah. where it's like there's no no going around it and you know like tiptoeing around me go this way around the scripture yeah. nah i don't mean that that's no weird. And like I said, we are the authority. Sorry. Yeah, the scripture says not to add or to take away from the scriptures. Right. When you twisting, twisting up the scriptures, you adding. When you mm -hmm. when you twisting it up, you taking it away. Mm -hmm. You saying you doing you doing both. Yep. Hey. And like I say, you know the scriptures say about that. If you add or take away from his word, you know you are gonna get these curses. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a heavy uh, penalty. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's and, not a light thing. Yeah, it's not know? light. I mean, yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah, yep, it's not light. Okay. You know. Um, yeah, right here. If I could just read yep. this real quick, this Ecclesiasticus three verse twenty five says, "Without eyes thou shalt want light." It says, "Profess not the knowledge, therefore that thou hast not." Mm. <laughs> and he ain't like I say, he ain't had the whole truth. Kind. He ain't had the whole uh, role at all. Yeah, if you're not a hundred percent sure about something, <clears throat> you shouldn't speak on it. You really shouldn't speak on it at all. You see what I'm saying? That's right. Or you should refrain from speaking on it. As if you do know what you're talking about. God. You see these men out there, yeah. and they say they tell you, "Look, we look, we have faith that this is these are the words of the Lord. This is the you know the gospel of, of our Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, we believe wholeheartedly." So you you gonna be like, "Man, I don't know. I feel like I kind of know the scriptures. Let me right. let me listen to what they have to say." Right. Yeah. He was like the brother said, like you know, you gotta keep that foot when I come to God. the house God. of the Lord. God. You know, you can't be rash with your mouth. You know what I mean? Give a sacrifice of fools and stuff like that. Yeah, because you can clearly see when somebody knows more than you do. You like, okay, right. this person knows more about this topic than I do. Let me listen to what he has to say. Right. Like, um, like the scriptures they be telling you, like, don't make yourself equal uh, with someone that's uh, mightier than you kind, kind. and stuff like that. Like I said, we the ones do the, of course, uh, the authority of Habashim Shai. You know, we were given this word. So when you try to make yourself equal unto us, like we looking at you, like damn, you a total fool. Come, come. You look crazy. Like, like w w what is this? Like, you know, you got men that literally uh, were told that if you those that follow, get it when the reincarnation is out. Come, come, come. Real quick, you don't know, get the scripture. But like I said, these are the men that follow and walk with Yahweh Shai. All right, on earth here. Okay. It worked and it walked in a matter of life, the conversation, the behavior that was what right, pious, pure, you know, righteous. Go ahead. Come, this is uh, Matthew 19 and 28. It says, And Yahushua I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Right. right. Well, how do you break that down? Did the, the guy, you know, how, how does he break that down? Regeneration. And this is Yahushua saying that in the New Testament, okay? Words and blood. Go ahead. Okay. It says that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, mm -hmm. ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. You know, so these men, of course, these disciples, these apostles, they're going to be sitting on twelve throne, thrones, <laughs> judging the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. And, of course, like I said, the scriptures speak about how... Uh, what they say about uh, judging the little, the smallest matters? You know that one. Okay. Yeah, get this other scripture too. You know, all of course us being joint heirs, and like I say, if we are the Allahim anyway, in the definitions, we are the the, uh, the judges. All right, the gods. All right, the sons of the power, Yasha Allah. All right, go ahead. This uh, First Corinthians chapter six verse one says, "Dare any of you having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints?" Right. And like I say, you know, we are, of course, the priests, okay? So, like I say, you ain't going to have us, all right, we got a matter in the dang, we're going to go running to Esau. <laughs> we trying to settle that quarrel amongst ourselves, okay. all right? We're not going to the Romans, all right? You know what I mean? Yeah, of course, in the world, like, there are certain things, obviously, obviously, with wisdom and knowledge, we 
there's certain things that of course we go to ER presser to have done, you know, but like I said, we, us, you know, give me the sense, us brothers, we do deal and, and, and have councils and uh, of course uh, settle things amongst ourselves. We not, you ain't gonna have no brother, all right, I'm going to call the cops on you and stuff <laughs> like that. And that's just absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's and I mean, okay, go ahead. It says, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? Right, and remember the saints are the Israelites, okay? And like I say, giving you the hierarchy, the first fruits being the governing body of the elect 144,000 all men, they're gonna be, of course, your, your, your governing body, all right? They're your ambassadors. They, of course, come in on behalf of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is with us wherever, so wherever we go, we follow the Lamb, all right? We are going to be doing that judgment, issuing that out on this earth. Go ahead. It says, and if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Right. Are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? All right. You know, like people see us out there on the corner. Oh, you can't judge me. Only God can judge me. How do you explain that? Okay, you can't because you don't understand the scriptures. You don't read. All right, go ahead. It says, know ye not that we shall judge angels? How right. Much? Messengers, angels. All right. We, it, it, like I said, we going to, of course, set out orders. All right. Okay, look, um, you going to do this and that. All right, all right. You know, you judge something. You got, of course, obviously a, a mind. You know, you have discernment. Okay, I mean, you got dudes out here that don't even understand that. You know, like, how can you uh, you judge, uh, you know, me that way or something like that? Because I'm using the scriptures. The okay. oracles, the words of Yahweh Shemeshai. Yeah, the scripture says, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. That's right. And that's exactly what brothers do when, when they judge. Right. We're not a respecter of person. Okay. So look, the Lord heaven, we're going to judge angels, okay? Go ahead. It says, how much more things that pertain to this life? How much more that things that pertain to this life? Remember, if we're, we're of course, uh, the creature of a subject to vanity, the Lord, of course, us being the original Allah Hayyam anyway, the gods, all right, we, of course, uh, would have to have practice, okay? We only going back to what we already had, okay. you know what I mean? But even greater, you know, because, you know, what we going to have on the, uh, when the Lord set up this kingdom, it's gonna be better than the first, you know what I mean? God, you know, so, like I said, like we like doing this. We love, actually we love doing this. It ain't even we like, we love doing this. This is, you know, we in our own, um, you know, like I said, we back in our um, lot, you know what I mean? What we what we supposed to do, you know? What, what, what we was doing in the ancient world, you know? All right, this person did it, commit adultery against this man. All right, we're gonna hear the matter, all right? The sentence, death, all right? You know, we're going to judge it by the law, you know? All right, oh, it's a false accusation, okay? We're going to judge it with the law, all right? Uh, we're not leaving it to no other powers. Remember, we're going to be sovereign in the kingdom, all right? So, like I say, you see in brother, like I say, brothers is practicing sovereignty on this side to the best of our ability right now, you know, within the body, okay? So, like I say, when um, you have brothers that actually bucking up against really the uh, council of, how about Shemel Shai, which is being done by men, all right? Like I said, you really bucking up against the power entirely, okay? Because the Lord, like I said, he willeth in the kingdom of men, all right? He give it to whether, so whoever he will, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord gave this to our lot to do and issue out his will on earth, you know? We keep, as we always tell you, the Lord ain't coming down and say, hey, uh, Michael? No, the Lord is making man do that right now. All right, He's the Lord. Of course, is controlling it, but He's controlling that man to tell you. Like I said, you had where uh, certain men. Uh, well, I think uh, let me see if I, you go and read in the book of Samuel. You know, you you'll have it where. Well, uh, let me see. I'm thinking of Samuel. Wait, uh, they, who who came to Sam? I think it was to Sam. To uh, was it David? Said he was going off. Was it Nathan? I gotta look back up. That told David he was on? Yeah. Come. Okay, okay, yeah. So, like I said, you see that? He sent a prophet to go after, you know, to tell him, oh, you oh, was going off. Okay. Like that. Just thinking, like, look, he, the, that's how the Lord, the Lord using men, you yeah. know, to, 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 to do certain offices for him. All right? The Lord, Yahweh is almighty. All right? You ain't got no king. All right, I need to come down there. No, man, you got subservience. Okay? Come. It's like it. 
Yeah, that quick precept. Mm -hmm. This uh, Hebrews 10 and 23, it says, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Right, this is a profession. Look up that word profession right okay. here. All right, because like I said, this is our business. This is a true job right here. This is our, as the scriptures say, the vocation. All right. So for profession, it has, um, well, it don't really. Yeah, well, it just got it. Yeah, just. Uh, just look up profession. Yeah, in Google? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it says, so profession, it says a, a paid occupation. <laughs> <laughs> paid occupation. The Lord paying us with salvation. Go ahead. It says, especially one that involves prolonged training in a formal qualification. <laughs> yeah, we got the training through our elders, you know, and we're qualified through the Lord. The Lord says, you know, deems whether we're qualified to do this because it says many are called, few are chosen. Right. The Lord has to call you into to do this. You can't just, you know, may put it in your head one, one day you want to. You want to preach the scriptures now the lord you the lord has to be with you for you to be able to do this and for you to be able to endure in this you know a lot of guys you know they uh they they lose the 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 fire that they once had and they they give up the hope they 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 lose they they don't see the point in doing it anymore yeah like what's the point nobody's waking up what's the point the lord ain't coming no no time soon yeah crazy but because the Lord has, has called us and, and and hopefully has chosen us, mm -hmm. we're gonna endure. We're gonna keep preaching His word. We're gonna you know keep doing our job. God, that's right. Uh, is there anything else on that? No, that was it. it. Uh, real quick, this is Galatians chapter four and one. It says, "And now I say that the heir, all right, but you know, an heir if you have a son, he gonna receive that what inheritance, you know, from, of course, uh, the the father. You know what I mean?" It says, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all, but is under tutors and governors till the time appointed of the father. Okay. You know, and like I say, the Lord has left us under tutors and governors. Okay. So like I say, you thinking that you can't, a man in the flesh can't judge you and stuff. You don't know what type of time you in. You know what I mean? Okay, um, you know the Lord always set up captains. You know, uh, you know different leaders. You know, uh, of course in the, in, the, in the stead. All right, when we would go to war. All right, of course. Uh, you know when we would go off and be rebelled, the Lord would send judges. All right, set up judges. All right. Yeah, that's how you know their their logic doesn't make any sense. They don't want there to be leaders. Well. If there's no heads or there's no leaders, who decides what we do? Right. Okay, let's say one brother said, I won't go out on Saturday. <laughs> and another brother said, I won't go out on Sunday. Right. There's no there's no unity in that. Right. You see what I'm saying? So then one brother, well, you won't go out on Saturday. Well, I'm going to go out on Sunday. So brothers is going out different times. Right. This, the scripture says we're one body, man. We got to right. be united in one. Yeah, you got to be in your chadwa. Yeah, be in for, for Yeah, for us to be united, there has to be ahead to make you know the final decision right. not saying the brother got a rule like okay we do what i do God, what God. i want when i want yeah. why i want you know <laughs> <laughs> no, but but, the, but there has to be somebody who makes the final decision that's right you know what i mean and like i said it goes like the scriptures tell you uh first i think first country 1440 uh let all the things be done decently God. and in order God. all right things will be fixed and established in a set way all right how about shimmy out shy has given the men the wisdom to be able to make that judgment, okay? That shepot, all right? Come on. Um, yeah, so uh, governors. Uh, the Greek, you got oiko main nanomos, it's like you, which it kind of sound like oikomeni, you know? Uh, let, me, let me hear if I can hear it. It's like it's way over there. Okimanos. Which is the manager of a household. Heaven the Lord set us up as stewards. Okay. You know, has he told us to feed my sheep? Okay. Um, you got to, of course, feed the flock. All right. You know, um, which we, I'm going to get a scripture on that. It says a, a manager, a superintendent. Right. So, like I said, the, what the scripture tell you about um, how the Lord, um, he left, what, his vineyard. I think the scripture might talk about that. 
to like for uh, you know based us for us to, to, to take care of and stuff okay. like oh, what did it say the Lord went to a, a high some another country or something like that I forget the scripture yeah, I don't know how I quote it but um, and he left let me see are you talking about Matthews? yeah it's, it's a, it, no it's in the gospel okay but um but well, we don't have to get it but okay. yeah you know the Lord set us up to do the work alright on his behalf all right, that's why he would train us up and give us the understanding. You know, he would be with the apostles. He said, "Look, this is uh, my disciples at the time. Later came apostles. All right, um, how come you know, like you speak it unto us, to them on some mysteries, but you speak to us plainly? You know, oh, as long as it's given unto you to know the mysteries okay. of the Most High. Roughly paraphrasing and stuff. Because what the Lord wants us to usher out His business." His, uh, the vocation that he gave unto us, you know what I mean? Okay, the, the, to be able to, uh, to, to uh, manage his affairs, all right? The care of recipients and expenditures, all right? The duty of dealing out the proper portion to every servant and even to the children not of age. So you see brothers know how to deal, all right, with a certain brother that came in and to the flock. Uh, you know, I know, of course, all right, when he ready to come out and cross over to the next side, you know, um, I know what this brother can handle. You know, what I mean, I know how to uh, judge, uh, you know, and um, of course, in balance, you know, in equity and stuff, you know, not to, of course, go overboard, you know. And that's all because the Lord is dealing with that man. He guided and directing that man through, of course, his Holy Spirit. OK, so um, now woman, but it's under tutors and governors until the time point to the father, even so we. This is Galatians 4 and 3. It says, When we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, which are the Israelites. Okay? And like I say, since we were scattered, we have, of course, the Hellenized, the Hellenistas, you know, walking in the customs, Greek speaking Jews and such. All right, and Lenny still go back to Israel, but of course they had the different customs. They may speak, wore, wore the, cut the clothes, worship the gods of the different Greeks and stuff, you know. But, and they lived in and sojourned in these other lands, but they were still Israelites by the place, the lineage, uh, uh, by the, of course, that, that flesh, all right, going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, of course, they're the only ones that could be gafted in, all right. You can't bring something that's a complete stranger that, you know, foreign and, and just putting them on the tree. It's not going to be rejected, okay? So when anybody's saying something else, like I said, you don't understand words and you don't understand that we had a pre-relationship uh, with Yahweh Shem Shai. He only divorced us for a time. And he, now he's bringing us back due to, of course, the mercy of, of course, his son Yahweh Shai, which is all set up through his story anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah, our people, you know, you know, the topic of, you know, having leaders, you know, our people always have problem with authority. God. You know, even with Moses, when he led the children of Israel yeah. out of Egypt, <laughs> they was, you know, they was talking against Moses. Now you see right. the Moses through, through the Lord, you know, you know, doing all these miracles. You like, oh man, the Lord is dealing with this man on a very high level. Yeah. Even with Moses, yeah. they still spoke against him. Yeah. So how much more, you know, us, right. so, you know, it's only right. Yeah. And it's like I said, ain't nothing new under the sun. God. So they doing the same thing over and over and over again. You know, they see us, you know, even like I said, we wear our rough garments and everything. You know, we getting all the knowledge. We got the knowledge returned back onto us. You know, we, of course, uh, doing the customs and stuff. Jake's still a rebellious. Okay. Oh, who's this man? They're more respect the guy that's given, of course, a degree on a theology, theological school. All right. Because credited by their oppressor. Okay. All right. Instead of listening to a man that, of course, came from. The spirit, born of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. God, even the Lord, even the Lord, they speak so. It's like, isn't it uh, Joseph's son, yeah. the carpenter's son? Yep. Even yeah. the Lord, if they spoke against the Lord, so of course they're not going, you know, want us to be, you know, over them in any way, shape, or form. God, yeah, like the brother was uh, Malak was saying, he was like a prophet. Well, it's in the scriptures, God. which he's just quoting it. Prophet is not accepted in his own country, you know, amongst his own. Yeah, because they see you, they like, yeah, I, I know I this, guy. this guy. He was a demon, right. or he was this, or he yeah. was that. Or who was he? How, how all of a sudden he is this holy man, or something God. like that? Now he's a servant of the Lord. Yeah, it's not possible. 
It's uh, the, only the Lord who draws and wills and stuff, you know? Which uh, we should get that scripture about the draw, about drawing the Lord, like he draw us. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm talking about, but uh, let's see. Like you can't come to the Lord, the Lord got to draw you in. Um, like, like to the faith and stuff. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. See this one, it says chosen. Six, is it 6 and four, 44, John? John 6 44. Yeah. Okay. If there's anything above it, you can need what? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. This is John 6 and 44. It says, No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. Mm, draw him. So I want to see if that word draw like usually draw in the gosh hebrew they draw near but it's going to be in the greek i don't have my i have my hebrew in the testament but i have to check but i'll check it another time uh draw which is helco helco which is to draw to draw by inward power to lead to lead so the lord literally gonna have to lead you to him yeah kind of. you know it ain't no oh uh i chose the lord no the lord gonna choose you go ahead okay kind of. it says and I will raise him up at the last day. And I will raise him up at the last day. So uh, what time we in right now? The last day. We in the last days, all right? So, of course, the Lord is drawing, of course, his servants back, of course, unto uh, himself, okay? You know, and no man can pluck us out of the Lord's hands, okay, at all. So that's why, you know, um, like the scriptures say, what can separate us from the love of the Lord? You know what I mean? not you know and it gives a different various uh things you know nothing tribulation you know what i mean persecution none of that stuff can take us away from from uh of course the lord it's, like i say it's the lord that that has that protection that heads he gives us that grace he strengthens us okay in the, in the hamashiach in faith all right he gives us the he gave us the gift of faith so it ain't no going against the will you know like i say even if we were to try to the Lord would still put us in the right way. He would bring chastisement upon us, just like he did uh, Jonah, all right? You know, so that just goes to show you how, um, of course, there is no free will, okay. all right, at all. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. You got anything else? Yeah, I got a quick precept right, go just ahead, on yeah. the specific topic. So. Not necessarily free will, because you know, right. brothers brought out thousands, <laughs> thousands of precepts yeah, that, yesterday. That <laughs> you need, if you need, if you don't know whether it's free will or not, go back and watch, you know, yeah. watch that video. Yeah. Brothers brought out all the precepts, God, God. all the precepts you could ever need. Yep, yep. This Acts seven and fifty one says, "Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in hearts and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So do ye." Mm. Yeah, and that's exactly what that dude was doing. He was resisting the Holy Spirit. The scripture says that we are baptized by the whole by the Holy Spirit. We're right. baptized by the words. Yep. When we're able to accept and receive the words, then we are baptized. But he was resisting it. Kind. So he couldn't, you know, he couldn't receive the, the, the spirit of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. Kind. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like I said, you got just this word that's gonna be that's gonna cleanse you. You know, you're gonna get submerged in it, you know. Like, like you read in the book of Acts, you know, it just say like, look, they heard the word and they believe, you know, they, they, and they was like following, they was real enthusiastic. And that's how we are. God. We're very passionate about this word. We got a, of course, a, a, a zeal and it's a, but our zeal is according to the knowledge that's written in the scripture. These other people, they be, they might be into the scriptures, but like I say, they only, uh, like I said, they're set up to be on that left hand side to be those fulfillment of false prophets scoffers murmurs yeah and what a lot of people don't understand when they come out there on the highways and heads you know when they come up and ask brothers questions when we breaking down the precepts we trying to give you the understanding right the scripture says yahweh i said if i had not come they would have they would have they would have they would have cloak for no, the sin yeah, but now they have come they have no cloak for the sin yeah. brothers breaking down the precepts we telling you the, the name of the Lord, we're giving you this understanding. You have no cloak, man. Yeah. The Lord is putting that, that target on your back, man. Yeah. The Lord has marked you. Yeah, so, yeah. like, you know, like, you put a tag on somebody. God. Like, you do the laser tag or whatever it might be. You hit the paintball. You, that paint on you. Yeah, kind of. You got hit. Yeah, you, you, you get marked for salvation <laughs> right. or you get marked for destruction. Right. But everybody get marked one way or the other. Right. You either got that the why. <laughs> mark the exemption kind. or you got that condemnation mark kind. all right you're not of, of the lord's fault and stuff you know so um 
I'm gonna go back to this Nehemiah, and then we just need to uh, want to say about the traditions of men. Okay. Yeah, there's that one. And it probably goes off of that. Okay. This is Nehemiah again, chapter 8 and 8. It says, So they re read the in the book of the Thorah, the law, God power distinctly, all right, and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. Okay? So, like I say, um, it, and it says even in here, like when you read above, it says that, that uh, and the Levites caused the people in verse 7 to understand the law and the people stood in their place. Right. The Levites, of course, uh, uh, of course, was set as the priesthood. Now, of course, under the order of Mount Chesedek, or Mount Chesedek, you know, we are priests, okay? Kings and priests, which under, of course, uh, Yahweh Shai was Malak uh, Tazadak. All right, one is uh, incarnation, reincarnations and such. So, you know, we are the priests, okay? We're giving you, like I said, as I always say, we're giving you the understanding of the divine communication from the Most High through the law, statutes, commandments, the oracle, for you to know, to be able to get it, so that you can't say, oh, well, um, I didn't know. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't understand that. And even if anything, like I said, the Lord ain't no respecter of persons anyway. So, like I said, ain't no cloak either. Okay. The Lord came. So, okay. Okay. don't give me that shite. Don't try to tiptoe around and such. Oh, Lord. Uh, no, the Lord gonna strike you dead. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. lightning. Okay. Go ahead. This is uh, Mark chapter 7, verse 6. It says, He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right, and I believe that's in the book of Isaiah. Okay. You know, that's quoted. All right, then, right, that's heavy, you know. Read that again. Okay. This is um, Mark chapter 7, verse 6. It says, He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites. Right, yeah, so Isaiah, back even in the Old Testament, he prophesied. He said before... You know, you hypocrites, you stage actors, you stage players. Cause like a lot of a lot of our people, you know, they try to act like they are righteous and they want to do right. They, they got, of course, uh, you know, spirit dealing with them. But really, like you said, you put them under examination and they don't. Yeah, okay. They, love, they say they love the Lord, but they don't do what he tells them to do. Right. It's like somebody telling you they love you and they treat you like trash. Yeah. You're like, man, you, you know love me. Yeah. yeah, like a woman, you know what I mean? Yeah. She'll, she'll tell you, you know, she love you this whole time. And then, like I said, you might come in the truth, and then she breaking up with you. Okay. Oh, uh, um, like, 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 uh, brothers is going to this scripture. Uh, oh, the apostles, uh, they live streamed last, yesterday. Um, they would teach, they were like, saying, like, yeah, like, the, they brought a scripture about the, the woman, he, she changes her, uh, her darken her countenance, like sackcloth. Okay. Something like that. Basically, she changed her face and stuff like that. Like, and like how, you know, basically, like, you know, you had, you was with a woman, and all of a sudden, this woman just divorced you out of nowhere. Kind of, or, you know, she, I want a divorce, and I want all your money. Kind of. You like, didn't you just say you love yeah, me all my Yeah, change heart, up baby? on you real quick. Yeah, like, switching like a damn weave or something. Like, these chicks, bad weaves and stuff. Changing up, like, nail polish and stuff. Like, like what the hell, you know? You was, you was with me. I thought you was with me. Ah, yeah. uh, nope. You know? And like I said, that's uh, that, that's how it is. You know, it sucks, you know. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to start it up again. This is uh, Mark 7 and 6. It says, He answered and said unto them, Well, hath Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right. Their lips with their mouth. You know, we be up there. Dudes, oh, yeah, I'm going to come back next week. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I agree. I agree with you. But, look, their mind is really about their mind, you know. You know, they're far from the Lord. You know, they're not, like I say, while with the Holy Spirit, you draw nigh unto the Lord. You get becoming very intimate with the mysteries, uh, the secrets, the, you know, the deep knowledge of Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know, you get real close, damn near, like you, you, like I said, the Lord is literally panting, like breathing on you. You know what I mean? Close. These people are far from the Lord, okay? Because the Lord ain't giving them, he not close with them. You know, the Lord ain't even dealing with them at all. You know, he ain't dealing bountiful with them because they're not his servants. His servants he dealing with, all right? His elect he's dealing with, okay? okay. Kai? It says, how be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Right, in emptiness, you know? And, and you know, that's how, you know, when Yahweh Shah came on the, on the scene, you had these, these uh, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, 
They didn't even want to accept them. You had nah, the Messiah nah. right there in front. Yeah, of you had you had the word. Yeah. The word. This, the Lord is called the yeah. word of the Most High. Right. You know, breaking down the word. To right. You, and you telling him it's wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, what? And, te- and tempting him and stuff. Nah. You know, they was they uh, trying to catch him in his words and all of that. Nah. You know, that's craziness. That's madness and stuff. But that just go like 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 the scripture. You always know, said like yeah, they, they seek it for a sign and stuff. You know what I mean? But they ain't gonna get one, man. You know, because look, if the Lord blinded you, you're just not going to see. Okay. You know, the Lord, he lightened, as the book of Samuel tell you, uh, it tell you that um, the Lord lightened up. Um, he, he's our lamp and he lightens, illuminates our darkness. You know, so if he ain't there to give you that light, you just going to be in ignorance and not knowing. And you're going to follow these stupid traditions. And man, you, you know, you follow something that's not even written in the scriptures. Yeah. Okay. You be like, where you, they don't even know where they got this stuff from. When, when they people come up to the camp, yeah, yeah. they saying quoting something. We like, that's not even in the yeah, Bible. Yeah, where's the precept at? Right, where's it at? Know. They can't get they it. They don't got their Bible oh, on them. They, they don't got no Bible. They, back. <laughs> they fumbling, acting like they don't even got a phone. Yeah, kind of. Like, yeah, 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 yeah kind of. You just got a ring on the phone. You pick it up, man. <laughs> yeah, they don't you even know. know. They don't even know how to use the phone. They don't, they don't know how to go to Google. Yeah, like, you know, you zealous. get all confused. Kind, kind. Yep, go ahead. Kind of says, uh, for laying aside the commandment of the Most High. Right. Land of the side, yeah, like, over there. Yeah. That's what Esau do. Well, what's that book of Psalms? They tell you that uh, he casts his get it. I think it's it, 50. 50. Yeah, get it real quick. Bible Kishai. This is the way Esau, you know, that's why the Lord spoke about how you hear your father the devil. You know, less uh, uh, of him you do, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, y'all not following after Yahweh, the Abba, now our father. Y'all following after another. Father, which is of course Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, and E, the physical counterpart. Go ahead. Okay, and this is a uh, Psalm chapter fifty, verse sixteen. It says, "But unto the wicked, the Most High saith, What has thou to do to declare my statutes?" Mm -hmm. Or that this is the wicked we talking about is Esau right here. Go ahead. It says, "Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth." Right. What are you to take the statutes? The the chak yim. All right. It's a uh, chak is uh, the statutes. And what do you to take my agreement? The agreement that I made with, of course, only Israel in your mouth. Nothing. The Lord didn't, as I tell you, only, um, what is it? The Lord, a Amos 3. Okay. Get it real quick. Because this is just always important to harp on to. You know, the Lord only, like he said, he showed this word unto Jacob only. He ain't appeared to you other heathen, okay, at all. He, and like I say, Right now, he's dealing with the elect. All right? And I got some, too, also, after okay. him. So, go ahead. Okay. You want me to just get to yeah. 7? Amos 3 and 7, it says, Surely, Yahweh the Most High will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And then, you know what you say about my, all the families of the earth? Kind, kind, yeah, kind. Sorry. This is Amos chapter 3, verse... Uh, Verse 1, mm -hmm. it says, Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, mm -hmm. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, mm -hmm. You only have I known of all the families of the earth, mm -hmm. therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, only the Lord experienced in dealing with us. All right? So that's why you see the Lord is going to come and judge the house of Israel for us. He's going to come and start at our sanctuary, because that's his people. Okay? Kind. All right, now go back to Psalms. Kind. You want me to read at the top? Uh, or just yeah, keep going? Yeah, go ahead, keep going. Kind. This is a Psalms 50 and 17. It says, Seeing thou hatest instruction, mm -hmm. and castest my words behind thee. Right. So that's the nature of Esau. He cast the words, and he hate instruction. And like we was going with the dude, this book is not but instructions. Kind. You don't like the instruction. We, I think we might, I don't know if we defined it. What word did we define with him? I forget what word we defined today. Uh, oh, it was something with order or something, preparation. Okay, kind of. Or something like that. Oh, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of, you know, Which, like I said, the Lord, if he, 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 he ordered and set man and stuff, you know, up for us and stuff, um, he, he, he already uh, set us up what we was going to do and stuff. Kind of. So. Yeah, yeah the brothers was, was, you know, breaking down the scriptures plainly and bringing out specific words and definition but the guy just refused to accept it he's he like headed. he's like nope nope <laughs> yep no nope. you casting the words of the lord you know to the uh -huh. side yep, you know? yep that's it you know instead of you know binding them up you know yeah. on them like a, like i think the scriptures might say like as a diadem 
you know, like to us to keep our garments clean, put them on, our beautiful garments, the knowledge and stuff. This dude, like, taking the knowledge, just put it beside. Yeah, he put like, it in a box somewhere. 